also want to do the Series 7 thing first. Yeah, so the film, the trailer for Series 7. Well, I think it's a teaser. Teaser okay. trailer. So, uh, this is Gallifrey Pirate Radio. I don't feel like I don't know why I feel like I have to be quiet right now. I don't have to be. Um, and I am your host, Davey Bushaw, and joining me tonight today Hi, is my co-host, Angela Pritchett. Um, and we're here talking about um, the Series 7 teaser that was shown at the Doctor Who convention over in England this past weekend. They suck. I wanted to be there. Yeah, I wanted to be there too. But no, something was off in New York. Sorry, I went and saw Spider-Man. Yeah. It was awesome. I saw, I went to the Rock and Roll Cheesy. Picture Show. And saw two movies that I worked on. Yeah. And she, and she wonders why she misses premieres of films. I can't help but they announced one of those premieres the week of. Well, I mean, you do so much work. I mean, that's the reason why. And it was my one weekend to go chill out and hang and have delicious pork dumplings in Chinatown and go see Spider-Man. And she didn't want to hang with any of us down here because we're not good enough. Pork dumplings, all I gotta say. Yeah, not good enough. That's all I gotta pork say. Pork dumplings, delicious. But we're here to talk about the tr uh, the, te the teaser. Doctor Who. Um. The teaser. It's really interesting. Um. Because basically we're seeing three episodes in the teaser. Um, because I'm guessing, I think they had just done the table read either before the con um, for episode five. And I want to bet there was nothing real. Filmed it in New York. I'm so excited. Yeah. Episode, yeah, episode five, I think it's being filmed in New York. So yeah, casting directors for Doctor Who, if you need extras, I'll drive to New York. I'll drive to extra. New York too. Especially because it's a spoiler Weeping Angel episode. Freaking awesome. It's also the last Amy and Ray episode. Spoiler. Yeah, we're totally destroying season seven here for people. Yeah, we'll, um, put, we'll put a little disclaimer on this episode. I put a disclaimer when I post them on Facebook all the time. Yeah, but I don't put them on, I don't put them on the video. Oh, well, I still put spoiler above the episode on Facebook. So they better read that episode. But, you know, just stay away from the internet if you want to see some spoilers for Caesar 7. Season seven. Caesar yeah, seven. Yeah. But yeah, we really don't get much in this teaser. <laughs> I mean, I think it was just really thrown together last minute for the convention, just to give people a taste of what's to come next season. Because um, there was no ominous voice, no, um, no nothing really. Um, we just get to see pretty shots of each of the episodes and get a little get our. But what makes so wet? What what I find interesting. Um, is the comment Amy makes in the Wild West episode called Gunslinger. They've already released, released the title name. That's episode three. And she's saying, have you gotten stupid since last we saw you? So does that mean we don't get Amy and Rory in the first two episodes? I don't know. And does well, they that... do show a lot of different characters for like the Snow episode. We see like some dude, not Amy or Rory. Which I have, a f I think, I think that might be the first episode. So that'd be awesome. Snow Planet? Yeah. See, I keep hoping we're going to get the Yeti. I mean, I doubt we're going to get the Yeti. There are robots in it. Um, possibly a dialect. Yeah, it could be with a dialect because it pops up and it looks around. The way they're teasing it in the t teaser trailer. He's like, yeah, oh, I'd rather have dialects. I'd rather have dialects. And then a the little, little yeah, thing pops up in the snow. From the Outer Space episode to the snow episode. Um, unless that's episode four. They did, they had shots for episode four. And even that showing us any, any shots from episode one or episode two. But we definitely know we're, we're getting, I mean, it's something like that. It's those first four episodes make up this teaser, if it's just not the first three. Um, so what did you actually like about this this teaser? I mean, there's not much there, just enough the wet our whistles. It, you know, it's not a full season, you know, true teaser with ominous voice laying out the mystery of the season or furthering the mystery of who the Doctor is, who blew up the TARDIS, the silence of all the I'm jazz. excited for the Western stuff. I think it's really cool they got an American actor to actually play an American character because if you watch, um, yeah, I'm yeah, excited. yeah, Ben Browder. Um, we talked and about I, that. And I last actually time. wore a shirt very um, that goes along with yeah. Ben Browder being in the episode. We got Doctor Who here and Stargate. Um, so, well, has there been another episode since the Gunslingers? Um, back in Hartnell, has there been another Western episode? I can't think of one. I don't know 
know, but every time they like have Americans in Classic Who, they're British people playing Americans. Yeah. So it's always funny to hear them try and do an American voice. So it's exciting to actually hear that they're putting Americans in there or they're at least getting British actors that can do well, the accent well, correctly. Well, another actor that's going to be in that is the one who played, the actor who played Big Starklighter mm -hmm. in Star Wars. He's also in that episode. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Allergy season. Um, so we get a little bit of the, the snow planet. We don't get much there other than there's so the black guy in the white, in, in, in the in the white snowsuit, the doctor, and the dialect, possibly. Or a robot. A robot. Could be Yeti. Hopefully Yeti. Yeah, because Yetis totally have little robot eyes. Well, the Yetis are robots. But they totally have little robot eyes. Well, they, we see it looks like a doll. Yeah, I know, but I mean, there's no, I mean, there's a chance that they, we might have Yetis. Uh -huh. I hope so. I I'm excited. Um, I know why Jason, who's not here tonight, is very excited because he gets to see Amy with the six shooter slinging it around. He's very excited. He said that on Facebook. Oh, He's he? very excited about Amy <clears throat> with the gun. And then the other episode we see in there is it looks like we have an Egyptian goddess. Yeah, that looks really cool. And two giant robots. I think that's all the same episode. Yep. It looked like it might be a different episode. I don't know. It, well, they both seem like they were taking place in the mines, and the guy that was leading the two giant robots looked like the one that was dealing with the Egyptian person. I wonder... The episode I really still want to see is the Orient Express episode. Mm -hmm. You don't think this might be it? I don't know. I think they did an audio, an Orient Express audio. Yeah, but the one that they, they tease at the end of the wedding? Yeah. They could have just done it as an audio. I believe they did do an Orient Express audio for the well, 11th Doctor. Really? I think so. I'll have to look that up. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But I remember when I was reading the synopsis for some of the ones I don't have yet. I think so. Oh, I hope so, because that's one I would, I would die to see. Um, okay. Which did, I do have two brand new <coughs> audios that my friend Ev from England brought me. Like, and, Sunday. I'm and really I'm listening excited. to Shada Monday. right now. I'm just excited because it just came out this month. Well, Shada just came out this month, too. I know, but... So, you 11th Doctor stories to yeah. tide me over until August. Yeah, but the legendary lost episode. I know, Douglas Adams. Yes. Um, and so, I mean, is there anything else you want to say about it? I mean, because there's not a lot of meat there. There's not a lot of speculation there. But it's also not a hand that's just bones sitting on top of stuff like last season when they or season before last. Where we were like, holy crap, what's this yeah. mean? And but of course, there's, there was a lot of speculating. I mean, there's not a lot to speculate here. This just seems to be <clears> one <throat> episodes until the 50th. No, I think until episode 5. Or until episode 5, yeah, episode 5. Which is, gonna, I think, going to crush people. I'm so sad. Sad. Yes. But I'm really excited for the villain in it. Yes. Which, I mean, Very you've excited. already said, you've already said they, what it was. Yeah, I'm, it's ever Weeping Angel. This will be their, well, if you count... God complex. Do you count that for Weeping Angels? Uh, you have to. Okay, so this will be their fourth encounter with the Weeping Angels. They had a Wait, book, they had a book encounter. There well, is a Weeping Angels yeah, book yeah, encounter. Yeah, for yeah, yeah, but but um, was there wasn't there was there one in the museum? No, there wasn't. No. Nope. I was trying to think if there if there was one in the museum. Um, and, and I'm saying in encounter, the not just happening in the background. Like, they see and they acknowledge them. Well, that's that's what I'm trying to think. I thought there was one more. And there would be more. an angel there because the image of an angel is an angel. So if there's one in a museum, there's, like, a rogue angel just chilling out in the museum. Yeah. Killing people and zooping them back into the... So now that we got a taste of these these first, like, I, I'm going to assume first three episodes, they're very singular episodes. They seem very compartmentalized. Um... Do you think that's how most of the season's going to be? Do you think we're going to get a two-parter or a three-parter? Or, I mean... Well, it's only, like, what, seven? Six, seven episodes? No. It's eight? No, it's a full season. The full season? It's a full season. I they were only doing half a season. No, they're doing a full season. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're... they're... they changed that, because originally they were only doing half a season. Oh, that, w that was dismissed really, really quick. Okay. When, when, when that rumor was going around that they were only doing a half season, Moffat came out and so said, like, no, we are doing a full season. Um, well, up until episode five, I think they're going to be single episodes. Because we don't really know much after episode five, other than that the new companions come in at Christmas. And, and for the Christmas episode. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's... This and they, they released a photo of her in her outfit, supposedly. Well, well it's kind of like when they released the first Matt Smith photo in front of the TARDIS. He wasn't in his outfit. Yeah. So people are wondering if she's really in her outfit or if it's just yet another staged image. But it's still really cool. 
Like, yeah, oh yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, see more photos of her actually Doctor Who esque, and not just. Yeah, I'm waiting for that first production still yeah. with her in it, where we can really start speculating about who she might be. Is she a Time Lord? Is she just? Is she uh, ex uh, an old companion's daughter? I mean. I, th I think there's going to be some sort of tie to the past since we're so close to the 50th. I just I just have the sneaking suspicion I'm she's going to have a tie. I'm excited to see her personality because they're saying that she can out talk the doctor. Exactly. So and there's only been a gonna handful of characters. Either you're going to love her, so. Yeah. I, th I think I'm going to like her. Because anybody that could put. You just think she's hot. No. <laughs> Why do you do that to me? Because it's funny. Why is that funny? I don't know. Back on topic. But so I'm excited for her. She's I, I'm, cool. I'm looking forward to her. I mean, I really am. Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting season because, I mean, he pretty much says this is leading us straight into the 50th. Because, I mean, one thing that we're not getting in this teaser at all is any any inclination of the big bad, of what's, what's really to come. Mm -hmm. um, no mention of, you know, the fields, him being asked the question. I mean... Like I said, I think this was really, really thrown together, and I'm looking forward to that. But I'm excited for some episodes that are just enclosed stories. Oh, I am too. Um, so, I mean, especially just fun adventures. Well, I mean, if you look at The Beast Below, people will say that's, a, uh, you know, just an encapsulated adventure, but there's stuff still going on in the background that carries the story. I mean, that's what Moffat does. That's what makes him a genius. I mean, he... I mean, if he was a chess player, he's thinking seven, eight moves ahead while we're just thinking one or two. I, I'm just, I, I just meant that I'm excited just to have yeah. some stories that aren't going to make you go, well, it's going to have, like, just a bunch of to be continues, kind of. Well, I mean, I I think every single one's going like to that, be continued but, in a sense. But the, the stories kind of well, yeah, I mean, their own little... Yeah, but I still think, like he was doing before, there's going to be that thing that... There's always going to be something that leads you on later on. But... Yeah, but I, I think it's going to be really bad this season. I think we're just getting... We're getting the highlights right now of those three episodes. I'm excited for Egyptian stuff and Western stuff and Snow Planet. It's just, like, all really cool, Ooh, like... Do you think this might be... This, I wonder if this is this might be the case. Do you think he might be going for a different genre each episode? Maybe. I mean, it looks really cool. It's like a little kid from the 60s, like, fantasy of what they want to see on TV every week, like, yeah. serialistically. Like I said, I mean, I don't think there's been a, a real Western episode since The Gunfighters, which is a Hartnell episode. I don't know the last time, well, the last time there was a snow planet was uh, the Tenet Ood episode. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wonder if we're good, or, or I mean, or it might be harking back to Hartnell, where, or... I mean, uh, Trouton, you know, with a Yeti, you know, I mean, real mountain earth type stuff. I mean, it would be really cool if it's a genre of the week right now, building up, you know, giving us a sense that Doctor Who takes place everywhere and not just one one single location like London. <laughs> Thank goodness he's been staying away from just... Yeah, because I really did think um, Davy's run was very heavily um, London-based. Oh, and um, I was just reading, um, they were talking spinoffs again, because they've lost two of their spinoffs. Um, they just need to have the um, Captain Jack show. Um, but Davey, or, um, but Moffat said he would not be put off by the idea of doing a spinoff from his run, but the question was posed, what do you spin off? I mean, there's only one thing, that, I mean, people say, oh, they could do an Amy and Ray thing. No, they can't. Um, possibly, I mean, you could do Craig, but I don't really see that going anywhere. Him walking around Stormageddon on his back uh, and adventures. What I would love to see, actually, and I think it would be fascinating, even as a miniseries, um, the Slurian and that oh, Jenny. Yeah. I think a cool. lot of people loved those two characters. Um, and I do know that there was supposed to be a an episode filmed about them, but it just hasn't happened yet. I mean, they're definitely characters that are in Aaron Moffat's brain, because I would love to see how the two of them came together. There's definitely a, a romantic edge between the two of them. Um, I would, that is what I'd love to see spin off, that, those two characters. Because really, those are the only two things that I can see really spinning off. Some could argue- They could do a river thing. They could do a river thing. Um, awesome. They could also do a Liz Ted thing. Um, but I don't know how long that could actually carry, so she, I think she's a pop singer, or a musician, the one who plays Liz Ten. 
that's the the Queen of England uh, oh, okay. on the Beast Below. Yeah. Um, I think she has a, a real career, so I don't think that'd be. But I mean, Alexis, uh, uh, Kingston. Um, I mean, she she does stuff everywhere. I mean, it's not like she's lacking for work, but they could easily really do a river. I think a, a, central a show. little river, like not just like a TV show, but like a little mini series. Yeah. I mean, she talks so much about all this different stuff, especially. I mean. All this stuff happens with her just between, yeah. like... Even when the doctor's not there. Yeah, when the doctor's not there. Because, I mean, like, when she shows up in, yeah. in um, Science of the Library, yeah. you don't know what's <laughs> happened since then because she hasn't seen the doctor in so long. So. And, and and the real sad thing is, is um, and I can't wait to show Angela these, um, is talking about the Four Night episodes, which are on the Blu-ray of Season 6. Um, you can find them on YouTube, but I mean, I want. I don't have them. I don't do Blu-rays. I have DVDs. Yeah, so but I, I, I would rather you see the high definition, high definition versions versus the poorly constructed YouTube versions, because they fill in so many gaps. I'm surprised they did not put them on the DVD, DVD version. And what he's talking it. about for those of you that don't know, the Blu-ray came with extra like little mini episode type yeah. things for that them. you didn't get with the DVDs, you didn't see on TV. Yeah. So for those um, of you that don't know what he's talking about, and they just really blew me away because I did not know they existed on the Blu-rays because I watch the Blu-rays for the episodes when when it first comes out, and sometimes I don't explore the special features. Um, but then I was watching some of the new DVDs, and they were talking about. It's filmed just for the Blu-ray, these special episodes. And I was like, hmm, really? Let me dig that out. And I was blown away because it fills in parts of Amy's time with the Doctor and parts of River's time with the Doctor. Some very key moments that I'm really surprised that they left for these these side specials and didn't bring it into the actual main story. But, I mean, we're getting on track here because we're talking season seven. Um, because the last thing I'll say is I think with those four episodes... They tie up River's story, and we really don't need to see River's song again after watching those four episodes. But not everyone saw them. So. Exactly, and I, that's that's what I'm saying. I think it's a real disappointment to the fans that they didn't make these more widely available okay. because they are truly, especially the two River ones, are truly key to that character, that timeline, and are extremely important to the story, which we'll get into an episode where we actually talk about the importance of these episodes because uh, I wanted to try it from seven. I don't know. I think they should do a, a little river mini series, and we should shoot the picnic at Valhalla. See, be. sadly, this this ties into that. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it's so key to the story. I can't believe well, they just did this. We should still see a little river mini series. She's feisty enough. She would be entertaining yeah. enough to have her own little, like even like a four episode thing. Yeah, I mean, like so. I said, I would like to see something with river, um, but. Back to the teaser. Yeah, but I was gonna say there's not anything really bad we could say about it yet. Yeah, because it's just, it's just showing there's a bunch of action and a bunch of like just shots of different episodes. And yeah. I'm excited for Ben Browder. I really like him. So, what? What? I'm I'm just, excited. I, was just... I was a huge Farscape fan. I enjoyed him on Stargate. He was okay so on I'm... Farscape. I liked him. No, no, I'm actually I, I I'm I'm a pretty big Farscape fan. Um, I love it. There are puppets. There were space people, and it was great. I mean, it, the show was absolutely, and, I, and I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to focus on a lot of Farscape in, in that Western episode, but um, Farscape itself was a, a phenomenal show. Um, I think it was killed before its time, oh, yes. um, and I think sci-fi mishandled it horribly towards the they end. They just needed more actors for Stargate, so they canceled Farscape. At least that's what it seemed like because. Yeah. Well, no, it, feel, it did feel like they basically took they the took two all, main leads yeah. and put them on the other show, and I just thought that was like great. Now it's Farscape SG One. I mean, it just no, it's the Far Gate if you watch yeah. South Park. And you know, people were saying, "Oh, they're playing different characters." I'm like, "No, they're not. They're playing the exact same characters they played on Farscape." I mean, and uh, and there's like, no, 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 no. And I was like, Claudia Black is not anything like her character. It's like, no, they're playing the exact. If you really look at it. She was just playing her character without the inhibitions that she had in Farscape. I mean, she they, they basically put the exact same characters. Um, but back to back to the thing. So, I mean, is there anything else you want to say about this? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited. much totally gone off topic. Yeah, and I'm sad to say I don't think we're going to get the Easter episode like we were told. I, I wish we would. Because I mean, but that would be like next week. Yeah, I mean, they would have been t teasing the hell out of it unless they totally surprise us with something. I just don't see it awesome, happen. But I mean, like, but at this point, 
the BBC would have said something about it because uh, I mean it's a week. Yeah. Tomorrow is a week. Unless before. unless we get like a full trailer. Yeah. For this season, yeah. but I mean I don't think we're going to get anything. So sadly we won't be talking about an Easter episode. But what other holidays are between here and there that we might get maybe a special? For between August and Christmas. No, between now, now and, and August. Now and August Memorial Day. They don't have that there. Ooh, um, my birthday, April 26th. Yeah, we I don't think they, they celebrate that in England. Um, and, um, but yeah, I don't, I can't really think of Yeah, anything. I know, I can't either. And just remember, April 6th, National Tartan Day here in the States. So wear your tartan. And... Since it seems like this is almost the end of the episode, I'm going to do an update. We will be at some conventions coming up. Yes, we will be. We'll be at RavenCon yes. in a few weeks. It's like, what, two, two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, yeah, that's in Richmond, Virginia. Come by and see us. We don't yeah. really know what we're doing yet. We'll tell you guys as soon yeah. as we know. We'll be doing um, something. We'll be doing something. Even if it's up in the hotel room. What? Well, shooting something. Because, I mean, I do have some interviews lined up with some Mega Who fans and things like that. Um, so there will be GPR stuff going on at some point, somewhere, yes. and if you come up to us and you're a fan and you say something to us, you may get a surprise. Hopefully. Um, and then after that, um, what do we have after that? Why don't we have Con Moby. Caroline, well, Moby, yeah, Moby's we have Moby first. Con. And actually, um, we'll be doing something there again. I'm not sure if we're going to be on, on, on the programming or not. Um, I hope we are. Come on, give us some panels, people. Oh. Moby's a long drive. Mobile is a long drive. Give us some panels. Mobile. Mobile? Yeah, mobile. Mobile? It's not mobile? No, it's I don't mobile. Know. I'm, I've never um, been to actually, I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna talk to their uh, head of programming. I'm pretty yeah, sure they've already done so. Come on. Okay, and then after <laughs> MobyCon, we have Con Carolinas. Yes, and which we will be doing a GPR panel at. Come and we see will us. Be. And we'll yes. probably be filming the other three Doctor Who panels that they do, so you guys will see those up on our page as yes. well. Yeah, they're, we're, they're, they have some. I think this year is some of the best programming I've seen at Con Carolinas. Um, don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed their programming in the past. I mean, I've, I've been a staple there for a number of years, but I don't know, there's just, I really, really like the panel selection, which I got to see today. Um, so, you, thumbs up Con Carolinas, you're, you're rocking it out like normal. So, um, definitely so. If you're in Con Carolinas, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yep. So, if you're in that area, I would definitely check the con out. I yeah. think their, uh, their webpage is concarolinas.org. And so I would definitely or just Google check, Con yeah, Carolinas. Con Carolinas, it comes up. Um, definitely check them out. It's a really fun con. Yeah. Lots of lots of really cool panels. Lots of really cool guests. They have a cool mm. film festival. They showed yeah. one of my films last year. Um, yeah, so then, it's a lot of fun. Then celebration. Star Wars celebration. That's not really Doctor Who. Yeah. Then we have Dragon Con. I'm not going to Dragon Con. I'm I'll be sad. going to Dragon Con, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to the Doctor Who people and the. And the podcast people to hopefully sad um but 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 I'm, I'm gonna see what i can do um but regardless if you come up to me at dragon i will have something for you i have i have something something really really special planned for uh dragon con which she doesn't even know about and she won't find out until after dragon con what i'm doing you won't tell me even beforehand since i can't go no please make me sad because you might spoil it for the the, the fans right i'll totally spoil it yeah but um so, and then I can't really think of anything else. Misty. Misty. Well, I mean, if, if, you, if you roll it We're back around. this year. Yeah, but I mean, I like the, the, con, the con circuit. this year. So, um, I think Dragon Con will be the last one for us for the year. Possibly. But, I mean... We get invited to a lot of stuff, and we're constantly adding, and adding things. if you want to see GPR at your con, people, email your promoters. Tell the people at the cons you want to see us, and we yeah. will come. We, we, we will. And we generally bring some of the other crazy people you see on the podcast, yes. too. And we always add new people. Um, because one cool thing is is with the Con Carolinas thing, they did open it up to, you know, you know all the guests to see who might also be on the panel so uh, once i see who's interested be careful with that one well no they, they, <laughs> i mean it's just part of the thing they'll, they'll let me you know let me hopefully pick and choose um but you will see her on it one yep. way or another because i kind of need her mm -hmm.